For those not familiar, Boracay is a top tourist destination in the Visayas or Central Philippines known for its crystal clear turquoise waters and white sand beaches. Boracay ranked number 5 among the best beaches in the world in 2021 by the top travel media company Condé Nast. Although there are no airports in the island of Boracay, it is fortunately very accessible via the nearby Cateclan Airport to the island of Panay. After landing at the airport, the cheapest option to get to the Katiklan Jetty Port is by a tricycle. These are available just outside the airport and cost 150 pesos for two passengers to go to the Jetty Port. Once at the Katiklan Jetty Port, certain fees must be paid before you can purchase a ferry ticket going to Boracay Island. These are the environmental fee which is 150 pesos and terminal fee which is 100 pesos. Other important requirements that you will need to accomplish before traveling to Boracay are number 1. Securing a QR code at the touristburacay.com website. Number 2. For vaccinated foreign visitors, provide proof of vaccination or a vaccine certificate issued abroad or the ICB or International Certification of Vaccination and Prophylaxis from the World Health Organization. For those who have been vaccinated in the Philippines, a certificate can readily be availed from the website box.cert.ph. For unvaccinated or partially vaccinated visitors, a negative RT-PCR test taken within 72 hours of departure. RT-PCR tests must be done only at the Department of Health accredited labs or clinics. Number 4. Confirm hotel or resort booking in Boracay. Make sure that your hotel is accredited or has a certificate of authority to operate from the Department of Tourism. Number 5. Round trip transportation details and number 6. Valid ID or passport. We highly suggest to keep digital copies of all of the above requirements and organize these in a folder on your mobile phone or tablet so you can quickly show them as needed. When we went to Boracay, some of the other visitors had a mix of digital and hard copies but were not organized. Some had hard copies only. Some had to keep going back and forth to the windows to present missing requirements. Tickets, hotel bookings, vaccine certificates, IDs and QR codes organized in a folder on my phone, it was a breeze for us. However, it may be wise to also keep hard copies of all the requirements as a backup in case your digital or soft copies become compromised or in case some authority demands a copy. In our case, it was digital all the way. No one asked for hard copies. Transportation and land transfer is easy. You can arrange it through hotel services or travel services online. Kluk app has some deals for transportation including land and sea transfers. These are also booths and agents at the jetty port. Once at the jetty port, you will have to line up at the QR code scanning and verification counter where your Boracay QR code, vaccine certifications, transportation ticket, hotel accommodation, and ID will be checked. After this verification, you will have to pay for the environmental fee, terminal fee, and ferry ticket. The environmental fee is 150 for locals, 120 pesos per seniors and students, infants 2 years old and below are free. Terminal fee is 100 pesos, while the ferry is 50 pesos. Remember that these are all DIY fares and that if you made travel arrangements with local travel agencies or your hotel, the total cost will be higher, but all local fees including transportation to the entrance of your hotel will be taken care of. Upon paying for your ferry ticket, you will be provided the bangka or boat name and seat number. The ferry ride is about 7 to 10 minutes from Katiklan Jetty Port to Boracay Jetty Port. Once landed at the Boracay Port, look for the e-trike pickup site. The e-trike fare from the port to your hotel is 150 pesos to stations 1 to 3 for up to 6 passengers. Alternatively, if you are traveling alone or as a couple, you can take a short walk outside the jetty port onto the main road and wait for a passing e-trike, flag it down, and pay 20 pesos fare. Boracay's 4-kilometer-long white beach is full of hotels and restaurants that cater to all visitors. 
from the exclusive Shangri-La Boracay and Crimson Resort and Spa with accommodations ranging from $500 US dollars to $2,500 US dollars a night to small hostels with $20 US dollar per night price range. White Beach is divided into stations 1, 2, and 3 and very accessible to all. During the daytime, tourists can enjoy the many activities that are available in the island from diving, snorkeling, crystal kayak rides, jet ski, banana boats, paragliding, island tour, surfing and helmet, and scuba diving, and many more. Prices of all these water activities can actually be viewed on the beach next to the police outpost in front of the Asturia Boracay at Station 1. The prices posted are negotiable especially during off-season but also depending on the time of day. For example, if it is already afternoon and the business has not many customers for the day, they will often give in to haggling and you can get away with lower or discounted prices. We experience crystal kayaking at a discounted price of 150 pesos per person for 30 minutes, discounted by 50% from the usual 300 per person because according to the kayakers, business was low. Nighttime is never dull on the island for bars and restaurants with live bands and DJs who surely entertain people from dusk up to the wee hours of the morning. Popular night spots include Epic Boracay near the mall, Wave Bar and Lounge at Hanan Regency, Parao Beach Club, the Diamond Water Edge Resort at Station 1, Summer Place Bar at Station 2, Boracay Ocean Beach Club at Station 3. Food choices abound, from local carinderias and barbecue grilling booths to fast food outlets like Jollibee, KFC, Chow King, Mang Inasal, Starbucks, McDonald's, Yellow Cab Pizza, and Docks, they are all there. Restaurants like Jasper's and Kolay Mangyan are popular casual Filipino food outlets. International foods are available including Korean, Japanese, Italian, Middle Eastern, Indian, Chinese, European and American cuisines all along the beach or main road. Specialty outlets for smoothies and ice creams, cakes and unique snacks and desserts such as Halo Mango, Joni's, Cafe del Sol, and Cafe Maruja, among others, are also part of the food scene on the island. Seafood restaurants are also plenty, and you can have your freshest hand-picked seafood cooked the way you wish at the local dampa. Personal supplies and toiletries, snacks, soft drinks, and alcohol are all available at the numerous grocery stores. You can find outlets for supplies along the beach as well as on the main road. These stores are never too far away. Don't forget to compare prices, though as sometimes beachfront stores can be more expensive compared to those more inland or along the main road. ATMs are also available along the beach and mall areas and some hotels. The Mall, a popular outdoor shopping area which has everything from hotels, restaurants, souvenir shops, and drug stores is a good area to explore and perhaps offers a peek into what is available retail-wise for souvenirs, food, and other attractions on the island. Transportation on the island is mainly serviced by e-trikes, best described as an electric-powered tuk-tuk. These are available all along the main road, and the fare is usually 20 pesos to get around the different stations and nearby areas on the island. E-trikes can also be hired for land tours, with tour packages ranging from 500 pesos per hour 1,500 pesos for three hours. Popular destinations are the Mangrove, New Coast Keyhole, and Puka Beach. E-trikes have a six-passenger capacity. There are also Ankas type of transportation where motorcycle drivers have passengers sitting behind them. Mostly though, these are used by locals. The island is full of friendly people and you will never feel unsafe due to the presence of police authorities in the beach stations. Buraka is a beautiful tropical island paradise where one can easily be mesmerized by the crystal clear water and fine white sands covering the beaches. Whether it is sunrise or sunset, the beauty of this island is indeed captivating and is surely worth the praise given to it as one of the top beach destinations in the world. If you like this content or found it helpful, please, please like and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the notification button.